Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Keshav and this is a proper guide on how you can jailbreak iOS 14.3 using a Windows PC. So Checkrain now officially supports iOS 14.3. In previous versions, when you go and jailbreak iOS 14.3, you'll face errors on A10 devices such as iPhone 7, iPad 7 generation. So if you have those devices and you face errors while jailbreaking, Checkrain fixed all those on iOS 14.3 and this is an updated guide. It's not the same way to do that. This is an updated method on how to jailbreak iOS 14.3 using a Windows PC. By the way, let me quickly show you my phone is running on iOS 14.3 and it's an iPhone 7. So if I just quickly go to about section, you can see iPhone 7 running on iOS 14.3. And if I try to jailbreak this iOS version on iPhone 7 with previous checker in versions, you'll face errors. So if you're facing those errors, errors and more errors this is the right video for you open any browser of your choice in my case it's firefox and go to idevice.com why i'm showing you my website well because first of all there are no ads everything every resource every news about jailbreaking you need is here organized perfectly well again why i'm showing you this so first of all all the links and resources required in an order to perform this method will be here on my blog. Again, it's so organized over here. All you have to do is go there and search for, for iOS 14.3 jailbreak and then click on that blog and find all the links. Again, I'll put those links down in the description below as well as on my blog as well. Where you feel comfortable, go that way. Now, the first link is a media file link. This will take you to a media file link <laughs> anyways it's a media file link too just click on the big download button the download for the iso file will start straight away once you do that just go to the other page and it's a rufus software now you have to click on rufus 3.13 it's a one megabyte software i've told it like million times uh, just click on download and download rufus software it's a very small software now once you download both of these files the next thing you have to do is open file explorer go to the place where you have downloaded everything now you can see here this rufus software and this is the rar file that you will find once you download that file which was from this media file link you have to extract that raw file if you don't know what rar file is it's basically a type of compression and once you extract this file you'll see just a tech check range 0.12.2 windows and under type you'll see it's a disk image file you don't have to select that rar file extract it and it will give you a disk image file once you do that simply open rufus hit on yes plug your pen drive in your pc i already did that and just click on select now all you have to do over here is select that disk image file that we extracted from that 190 megabyte RAR file. Once you do that, just click on that disk image file, click on start and go with the flow. Anything that pops up, click on yes, okay, done, and it will eventually ready itself and the USB stick will be done. Now, one thing I wanna mention, many people do this thing wrong here, is that Windows, after you put that uh, ISO file in your pen drive using Rufus software, Windows will simply prompt you to format your USB. No, do not click on yes over there. Once you do that, your checkrain ISO file is directly in your pen drive. I already did that when I was preparing for this video, so I don't waste your time and we can quickly jailbreak our device. Now, just click on the Windows icon, shut down your PC. Yes, you heard me right. You need to completely shut down your PC until you go to a black screen. So, once you completely shut down your PC, first thing, make sure your pen drive is still plugged in. The next thing, just turn on your PC while rapidly pressing a key to enter in one time boot menu. Now, this is the question that I get asked the most. How on earth we know that what is the key to enter in one time boot menu? They try every key, F12, F2, but nothing works. So a simple solution, just search on Google Asus laptop boot menu key or whatever the name of your laptop is. Just try to do things on your own. Now, 
I'll link a full article for your convenience down in the description below which shows key to enter in one time boot menu for all laptops out there. Once you go in one time boot menu, it's very simple then. Just locate your pen drive and one thing I again want to mention is that this user interface of one time boot menu will be different for everyone. We don't have same laptops, uh, although we have same interests in jailbreaking and having fun changing icons and do all sorts of cool stuff. Select your pen drive name over here in one time boot menu, hit on yes. So just the tech windows check win. Huge shout out to just the tech for making this ISO file. He's a really great YouTuber. I'll link his channel down in the description below in case you want to check it out. So once you hit on enter uh, this crazy like code will go on your screen and you'll think you are a hacker. No, you are not. Uh, this will directly take you to check ring. Boom, it's here. Now, all you gotta do is plug your iPhone in your PC using a high quality lightning cable. And I say this a million times, just use a good lightning cable. Don't get those cheap lightning cables off of Amazon and use them while jailbreaking. Okay, I brought a high quality lightning cable and plugged my iPhone to my PC using a high quality lightning cable and this like if you don't follow this step don't say me in comments that uh, this is a fake tutorial now you have to click on trust many people just don't do it like they just want to jailbreak they don't care about the process they they just they just want to jailbreak like please hit the trust button and at this stage I highly recommend you turning off any kind of passcode you have uh, you can set it back after you jailbreak your device but if you have an iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 like please listen to this part it's really important and then after don't say me that you didn't warn us if you have iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 8 plus also included then please remove any kind of password before jailbreaking you cannot also set it after jailbreaking on the other hand, if you have iPhone 6s, SE, 7, 7 plus, remove any kind of password, jailbreak your device and you can set it back. Now all you have to do, if you have an iPhone 8 or iPhone 10, go to options, using those arrow keys, scroll above and click on, like not click, just go there and click on enter when you are on skip a11 bpr check now this will basically remove all sep related things on your iphone only check this option when you're having iphone 8 or 10 again i'll say because this is really important and if you don't listen to this part you'll end up messing up everything if you have iphone 7 remove password jailbreak and set back set back the password if you have iphone 8 or iphone 10 or iPhone 8 plus because it's also iPhone 8 then go to options click on well like put a enter on skip a11 BPR check remove password and don't set the password even after jailbreaking iPhone 7 users or 6s or se users can set the password back after they jailbreak now just I I'll keep this here just click on start hit on next it will put your device in recovery mode then you need to put your device in dfu mode and whatnot now at this stage i don't think you need to watch the video <laughs> like don't click off but at this stage check ring is so smart to guide you on its own that what you have to do like for example for me it's saying me to hold the power button as well as the volume button for a couple of seconds and when it says to disable like remove the power button i i'll do that like do what's mentioned on your screen and this will simply put your device in dfu mode now you can see device entered in dfu mode successfully now it's gonna simply jailbreak your device and at this stage if you're using previous versions of check ring check is gonna give you an error but since we are using the latest version that was released like 12 hours ago when I'm making this video, not even 12, 8 hours ago when I am making this video, it's gonna work completely fine with iOS 14.3 on A10, A11 or A9 devices. Now booting and you can see the first time I faced an error now on my screen you can see error code 92 so i'll quickly pause the video and re jailbreak my device and next we'll check how it goes
Okay, I tried for the second time and it worked perfectly fine. Now, I could have edited the video and shown you the part where only where this worked. This all done screen appeared. But I also showed you the part where it didn't work because these things are just for fun. Like, I don't see a scenario where if you won't be able to jailbreak your device, you won't be able to use it or like just have fun while doing the process. If it doesn't work the first time, just try one more time because now all you have to do next is open Checkpoint and connect your device to a Wi-Fi connection, hit on install CDR. Now this is gonna take time depending upon your internet connection. The first thing, it will download base system, it will download CDR, it will install CDR and as soon as it does it all, it exits Checkrain. Now CDR is here, it's a package manager, you know what CDR is. So, you can see now uh, just for proof let me show you iPhone 9.3 which is basically iPhone 7 you can search it up on Google iOS 14.3 and everything is working perfectly fine if we go to settings general about section again you can see this here is an iPhone 7 which is running on iOS 14.3 and it's perfectly jailbroken now how to go back uh, to Windows from this check rain thingy just hard press on the power button and just quickly turn off your PC. The next time you'll boot it up, you'll be there in Windows. Either way, that's been it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all very soon. Peace.